On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Zephyr Clark Dahlberg with Miami Dog Training in Miami, Florida. In this clip, we're going to show you how to, uh, how to use a dog crate. And I know it seems like, uh, like a really simple thing, but you know, even after, after years of using it myself, there was little things I didn't even notice uh, <clears throat> that, that could have made things easier. So, uh, so I'm just going to break it down to you, break it down for you, and, uh, and, and show you what we got. <clears throat> okay. Now, one thing that's nice about these metal crates is that they sell coasters for them. So, and the wheels lock. You can lock, you know, lock or unlock them, and uh, you know, it makes it makes it easier for moving the crate for one. Okay. The other thing we're dealing with is they all come in all different sizes. But so this is like a medium-sized dog. So this one's pretty self-explanatory, right? You flip it up. Now, one thing I like to do sometimes. What happens with these crates, if you have a rambunctious puppy that's jumping around, they'll actually take apart the crate and they'll be, you'll find them, you'll come back to them kind of like crunched inside of it. Um, so what you can do is use uh, plastic zip ties and, uh, and reinforce <coughs> the little edges like this. So I usually put one here and one here and one here and one here and that'll keep, that'll keep the, the little guy from, you know, knocking the cage in on himself. So that's the first step. Now the other thing here, we have a divider, which doesn't go with this cage, but as you can see, it's, it's the same all the way around. They all have them, all the metal cages. So if, if I got this dog and the dog was going to be this size when it's grown, I might want to use my divider in the beginning and give him just a small area to, to aid in potty training. I would use the divider. Now, here's the other thing that they all come with, and that's a nice little pan, you know, a little catch pan, if you will. And, uh, and basically what we do is we're going to open the door here and I don't know if you can see this little, this little arm here, okay? Well, your, your catch pan goes inside and then once it's inside, this arm comes up, okay? Now, it can't come out. A lot of times people don't realize that and the, the, this piece is constantly sliding out. All you got to do is latch this little piece on there and sometimes, in some cases, you have a dog that's real, that plays around trying to get out of the cage, zip tie that. Now, another feature that's nice about the metal cages here is that you can use like a, a hamster water bottle. This way you give your dog access to water, but not too much water, and they can't knock over the water dish on top of themselves. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this has been Zephyr Clark Dahlberg. Thanks for watching.